hey, I have a question for you. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, wow, that's a lot of stars? You know, there's lots of theories and ideas about the universe, how it was created, and where we fit in the universe. You know, just as much as there's different theories about the universe, there are different um, faith traditions that people have about religion and what they believe. You know, the important thing about being reverent is not only do you follow your own family's faith tradition, but you should also be respectful of the beliefs of others. Just as there are many different theories of the universe, there's lots of different theories about our faith. Now, today, as we're talking about the stars, we're actually going to build a scale model of the solar system. Now, to do so, um, I'm going to need a lot more room than this backyard. So we're going to change locations, and we're going to build a solar system. Here we are in an outside space. I've got about um, a little bit over 100 yards, maybe under 100 yards of clear space. And I've got my materials. I have my poles, and I've got a measuring tape. I've got tape and my hammer, and I've got my planets. So I've got my sun, and each planet, what I've done is I have put the distance away from the sun it needs to be. And again, our scale is going to be one inch equals one million miles, right? One million miles, that's a lot. So, let's get started. Uh, here's our sun, and then our next planet is Mercury, and then Venus, Earth, and then Mars. We're gonna start doing our big gas giant planets next. We'll see how far away they are from Mars. All right, so we finished making our scale model of the solar system based on distance apart from each other, where one inch equals a million miles, right? So we've got our sun right here, and then our inner planets, and I'm gonna run because it takes a long time to do that. From Mars, it takes a long time to get to Jupiter. Woo! And then our next planet is going to be Saturn. And then after that, we go a long way. Heading over to our next gas giant, Uranus. And then lastly, it's hard to see. We got to go all the way over to the fence to get to our last gas giant, which is Neptune. So we go all that way. That's how far Neptune is from our sun. Woo! That's a big solar system.